after we lost last year, I was a little, a little devastated. <laughs> In the last year, you know, heartbreaking for sure, but, you know, we're kind of taking the, the lesson and are getting ready for this year. I think it's also a blessing in disguise. I think us going through that as a team, knowing what details we have to keep improving on. And I think that that thought process is going to help us this year, because knowing that we're, we're capable of more, and that's something that we're going to strive for. I felt that the team all season long just kept getting better and better. And part of that was they played for each other. They had a confidence that they could beat anybody on any given night. As we went forward throughout the year, it became pretty obvious that we are a resilient group. Goes inside and throws it down. We have a hardworking group, and all we care about is winning. Big thugs, what about that? What we learned is, you know, if we stay together, we can beat anybody. Aguero puts up a three. Bang! Knicks win again. Eight in a row. You know, we can accomplish anything, you know, and there's nothing like brotherhood and the closeness that you feel. You know, the closer we got, the better we play. Man, to be going to, to battle with the same core is, uh, is huge. We already know each other. You know, we, we, we learned each other really well playing together last year and uh, that just helps on the court so much. It's a lot of fun uh, to be going into battle with the same players, uh, same group of individuals. Got, a, you know, guys I consider, you know, my brothers and coming back uh, to build off what we had last year, special. Makes on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Same chip on our shoulder, same chemistry that we already know. I think that's really important. We just want to keep improving. We just have to do it day by day. Hey, y'all know what time it is. When you're going through game, going through the battles, going through those adverse situations with people that you're familiar with, it just gives you, you know, that much more confidence just to go out there, you know, play your game, and you know your, your brother's got your back. Every season is a roller coaster. You know, there's ups, there's downs, but it's how we manage it. We have a very close-knit group of guys. We got a bunch of, really a bunch of fighters just on the team and understanding that we're just gonna feed off each other and continue to, to really encourage each other. You know, we got friendships and we care about each other and we care about winning. So I think just us continuing to understand and build chemistry is just gonna take us to another level. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you feeling good, man? First day back, big fella. Big fella doing his thing. Appreciate it, guys. Big vet coming through. Turn your face to the light again. Good. Two, three. I'm not interacting with you, bro. <laughs> oh. I didn't. I didn't get a kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Always good to be back in the building. You know, the playoff run that we had, just kind of looking to to build on on more this season and then show and prove, you know, who we are. I think we all come back better. We all come back wiser. We understand the task at hand. It's just getting better every single day. I think it was a good summer. I think the, the big thing for us is the continuity of the team, but also adding Dante. Jayla, hurry up. The Bro, take good. Oh, good. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Nice. Dante is a very well-rounded player. He's another player that will do what the game is asked of him. And, uh, he'll go out and make big plays. He's a relentless worker, just has that knack of getting things done. I like to win basketball games um, and looking at, you know, the layout of where I was, you know, potentially going to land, um, I felt most comfortable coming here. What they've done last year um, and how I can kind of plug in and, you know, benefit um, from everybody around me. Getting a, a young veteran that's had great experiences, you know, he's got deep playoff experience. And so he's a gym rat. He fits in perfectly with our team. He's really, you know, he's a, a kind of like a Swiss Army knife. He can do anything you need. He he can defend the best player. Uh, he takes pride in it. Shoot the ball at a at a high clip. He's able to play and make. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be really good for us.
going great first day. So. Training camp in Charleston is going to be huge for us, you know, just to be able to kind of be around each other again after, you know, a long summer, get everybody up to speed and, and get some good practices in to, to get ready. You know, it's a way for us to reunite, catch up, connect. You know, we all kind of go our separate ways in the summer. You know, this is our family away from our family. During this time of the year, we spend more time with each other than we do with our actual family. So, you know, hopefully this is a way for us to reconnect and then build that chemistry, you know, to start the season. I'm working out with Lil Dog today, you know? I always like going away. I think it's an opportunity to team bond and to concentrate. It brings everyone back together. It signifies the start of the season. Focus on the things that are important. Spend time with each other. Obviously, spent all those years as an assistant coming here. So I always enjoyed coming here. I thought it was a, a great way to kick it off. Me, I like to, you know, personally try to develop each relationship with every single guy, coaches and everything, even training camp, try to sit with as many different guys as possible. You don't skip over anything, so it starts with having a great training camp, having a great first day. You don't go from the first day of training camp to the first day of the regular season. There's a lot of steps in between. We want everyone to feel, whether you're a player or a coach, that you're not finished. You're not a finished product. Just keep working. Just a hard-working group, so I think that's, that's what I'm excited about. Every day I'm coming in with guys that are, are going to work hard and want to get better. I think it'll, it'll show when we play. Motions heading into the season, I'm just excited. Um, I'm always excited to come back and play some New York Knicks basketball. Down the lane, draws the foul, shot's good and one. After year one, you know, I got to realize what basketball means to the city, what this fan base is really about. It's got me really excited for year two, ready to come in here and uh, get ready to work. I would say excited, you know what I mean? I feel like coming into this, my, this is my third year. I know exactly what, uh, what to expect. I kind of really have a good group of guys who, who come in and work hard. It's really about, strictly about business. And I feel like this year, nothing we do should be surprised to anybody. Yeah, it started in the trenches. You know, hopefully where we're going is to the top. You know, that's what every guy in the locker room cares about. So and that's our plan to build those habits every day and, and you, know, you know, get the job done. The Knicks, the continuity is going to be their strength, and the confidence from that continuity will be their strength. How far they can go, I'm not one for predictions, but one thing I'm certain of, this team will reach their potential because they still have that hunger.